The setting takes place in Ascaraga Street, Manila. It is now known as Recto Avenue. There are lots of Chinese stores and people. This is Ielko. Ielko is a professor emeritus in mathematics at University of Regina in Canada. He also has Chinese bloodline. The summer I learned to bike. I was 10 years old when the Americans liberated Manila from the Japanese. This morning was like any other morning. There was noises outside. I looked through the window and saw chaos. Tony, let's go. There's a looting. We gotta go. What? Okay. Going to looting, bye! What? Oh, uh, th this store looks pretty good. Uh, we can go in here. Oh, wait. Uh, what? Where are you? Pitoy? Pitoy! Oh, great. He's gone. Uh, I, I guess I'll go in myself. This place is completely trashed. They took everything. What can I get from here? Oh, look. Calendars. Um, okay. I'll take them. Uh, we can use them. Uh, Depan Ching, uh, I got us some calendars. Here, here it is. Why didn't you get something useful? You were supposed to get something useful. All you did get our calendars. Go back and get something else. Something that is more useful. I need shampoo, I need makeup, I need a man. Go get me a boyfriend. Just go. I want makeup too. What? I'm not a miracle worker, okay? Just go! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Okay, oh, oh, okay, I, I, I need to get something. Oh, there! Makeup! Oh, okay, oh, there, I got it! Oh, gotta get out of here! Oh, 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 oh there! An empty store! Oh, oh okay. Uh, I need to find something. Um, okay, um... Oh, a bunch of toilet papers. Oh, there's a ton of them. If only I have a string to tie them up. Well, I'll just carry them. Hey, I'm back! Ugh, toilet paper lang. You better quit your looting before you get killed. You're grounded. Stop being so mean to your little brother. Oh gee, she's so mean. Uh, I got her some makeup. And all she did was yell at me. Now what am I supposed to do with this? Tomorrow. Hey Tony. Look at what I got. What? You got it? But how? I don't believe it. Are there any more? Can you show me where? Sure.
But you can't get a ride from me yet. I'm still learning how to ride it. Let's leave it at my home and we can go. A few moments later. Nah, it was Conrad who got it and gave it to me. That got me thinking. Although Conrad was a good looking athlete, he was the, not the most generous man in the town. So why would he give a bike to Pitoy? Conrad only cares about women. Remember last Christmas when I was delivering food for Aling Maria? Yeah, I know you made a lot of money back then. Nah, that was only 10 centavos a delivery in Japanese money. And now, it's worth nothing. So, what happened? You know, when I deliver to the houses, people usually left their payment on the kitchen table for me to pick up. Um, so? So, this time, at Miss Garcia's house, there was no money. I thought she probably forgot it, so I walked to the bedroom, where I heard some weird noise. The door was creaked open, where I can hear some heavy OMG. breathing. I peeked in, and I saw something I shouldn't OMG. Luckily, they didn't see me, but oh man, I knew what they were doing. What? Why didn't you tell me this before? I couldn't. And where was Mr. Garcia? He was at the store. He wouldn't be home until late. Uh, did you stay and watch? What did you do? I was freaking out. So I tiptoed back to the kitchen. I took back the delivery. Then I went outside, knocked real loudly. I said, Miss Garcia, I got your delivery. Will you bring me the money? I'm running late. Coming. I had to wait a little bit until she came out. She came out in her bathrobe. Did she tell you anything? She told me. She I just got out of the shower. Here, Pitoy. Here is your money. Thank you. Okay. You can go now. I tell you, Tony. She is the most beautiful woman I ever seen. Damn, son. Yeah, and later on when I saw Conrad, I asked him about it. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, I saw what you guys did. What do you mean? Boy, he was caught red-handed, and he was pissed. If you tell anyone what you've seen, you're gonna get in trouble. You're gonna get it. Remember that. Alright, bro. Keep, keep your cool, man. I, I ain't gonna tell nobody. That's why he gave you a bike. In a way, yeah. I caught him on the street, and he was holding a bike. Are there any more bikes? No, there's no more bikes. Well, can I have that bike? Fine, just because of our secret. That's why he gave you a bike. Yeah. Great, but now that you have told me what happened last Christmas, won't he be upset and take the bike back? Or worse, be you up? This is supposed to be a secret. You can't tell anyone. Tony, how will he know? Are you gonna tell him? Of course not, we're friends, aren't we? Okay, well let's go play with the bike. That was a great summer for me. I learned to ride a bike. Pitoy and I took turns pedaling while the other hitched a ride. It was almost as if I was a part owner of the bike. We biked all around our neighborhood and even ventured to Benondo and Santa Cruz. 
We became the best of friends, and we told no one about our little secret. A friend is a friend.